registrar at Sloan and uh, he's been judging a lot of uh, entrepreneurship co competitions and he's essentially a hackathon leader so we we're really excited to be here. Over to Mike. Thank you, Mike. All right. How are we doing, guys? All right. This is a very important part of the hackathon in that for the last several months, a lot of organizers have created this event. You've now traveled far and wide to get here for this hackathon. You've heard from the subject matter experts, and my role really is to turn this hackathon over to you. Okay? So that's really what this is all about. So how many of you are doing your first hackathon with us tonight? How many in the room? Wow, look around the room. That's a lot of first timers. And I got it's a transformative experience, right? It's something that once you've done it, you can't stop, at least for most of us who are here. So welcome and uh, excited to have a chance to share part of this journey with you. So I've, I've had the privilege of running many hackathons, never anywhere near at the scale. I think I peaked at 150. You've got to really hand it to the organizers to bring together an event of this scale this quickly. So uh, what my job now is to make sure that we get you off and running very quickly. So all of you probably know that we are in the Stratton Student Center. In MIT speak, it's W20. Okay? We are in the Lobdell Dining Hall. And just behind you on the third floor, about 50 feet in the other direction, is the Salon Puerto de Rico Hall. And we're, we have 350 of you in the room tonight. There's no way we can do team building in this room. So we're going to split you into four separate subgroups as a starting point in order to give you a chance to very quickly pitch your ideas, form teams, and get registered. How many of you are already a part of a team? You came here as a team. Raise your hands if you came as a team. How many of you came as a full team? You feel like you've got a complete team. Okay. I'm going to go back to what we heard from Stephen. Okay. It's very dangerous to, to come and believe that you've got all the right pieces and all the right expertise. So this is a huge community. It's an extremely diverse community. It does take a village. And we're very hopeful that you're going to take advantage of all the brilliance in this room tonight and draw on a lot of different areas of, of functional expertise, industry expertise, and cultural expertise to bring together what it takes to be competitive. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the lower floor here for two of the four team formation exercises. So to my left, we're going to work with the activism, education, social enterprise group. And Dwight, I believe that's you. Dwight, are you here right now? Where's Dwight? OK. All right. So let me go here. So we've got, again, I'm working off an old slide deck right now, unfortunately. Um, four broad categories. Let's start with that. Human well-being, education, health, wellness, Activism, that is where Dwight is. Dwight, you're over in the corner? Okay, so the, uh, if, you're, if you're looking to participate in this category, please look for Dwight. He's got his hand up. Dwight is uh, up on the third floor in the corner. Okay? Entertainment, storytelling, gaming, film, journalism, art, and design. That is Daryl. Where is Daryl? I'm here. Okay. So Daryl is going to be on this side of Lobdell, all right? For those of you who are going to participate, at least getting started in that category. The third is commerce and industry, and that's going to be architecture, engineering, construction, productivity, etc. That's going to be Albert's. You're going to be down the hall from the third floor. Albert, where are you? Albert is over here. He's wearing a black vest. Okay, you see Albert across the way. And then the last one is human connection. Also will be down the hall in the other room. Please raise your hand. You already heard from him earlier. So he's going to be your fourth and final dedicated mentor. 
okay? With each of the four mentors will be at least two volunteers in support, and a number of us will be roaming mentors as well to try to help get this team formation process expedited as quickly as possible so that you can start hacking, okay? So, of course, no hackathon starts without pitching, okay? And I'm imagining, how many of you intend to pitch tonight? Okay. Now, you know Mark Twain? How many people know Mark Twain? Mark Twain, one of my favorite quotes is like, I wound up telling, writing you a long story because I didn't have the time to write you a short one. Okay? Tonight we're going to write really short stories. 30 second pitches. It's all we got time for. So you're going to have to crystallize your ideas into 30 seconds. And the challenging job that our mentors have is to keep you on time, on schedule. Because if you saw how many people raised their hands, we've got a lot of people that want to pitch. Okay? So the bottom line is, within each of these four subgroups, you're going to form a semicircle, and you're going to volunteer. You might be someone who wants to pitch right away. You can't wait to get your idea out into the community. And some of you are going to hang back, and you're going to wait to be inspired. But anybody who wants to pitch is going to have a chance to pitch. And of course, the next step is, do you see ideas, do you see people that you resonate with, that you think maybe it would be cool to spend the next two or three days hacking together with this person, this group, on this idea, okay? As soon as you feel like you have crystallized around an idea and a potential teammate or team, we would ask you to leave the area to clear the space so only those people still looking to create teams are working at getting down to business, okay? And again, diversity is everything. I taught here for over 10 years. I continue to be a professor, a hackathon leader, and I've never seen any team succeed if you didn't bring together a wide range of skills. So what we're gonna ask you to think about is putting up a team sheet. You've got these um, these little whiteboards all around the room. If you need to bring on extra skill sets, we're going to recommend that what you do is you create a very quick team sheet. What is the very simple one-line pitch? What kinds of skills or expertise do you need? And how do people get in touch with you? Okay. So, it's basically your old school advertisement to draw team members to your team. And you're going to put those team sheets up, it's going to be like a big poster session, and you're going to tape those up all along the walls up top, and people who are without team are going to be walking around and looking at those ideas that you've pitched, looking at the skill sets that you're in need of, and if they see something that interests them, they're going to reach back out to you, and they're going to contact you, okay? Once you are done with your team formation, you're going to go on the third floor in between the two rooms, and you're going to register your team on DevPost, right? Is DevPost the platform we're using? Okay, you'll go to DevPost, and you'll register your team, and at that point, we're going to ask you to take your team sheet down, because at that point, you no longer need teammates. So the quicker we get you team formed, registered, take down your team sheet, we're going to delay by 30 minutes. We're running about 30 minutes late, so we're now going to have you get back in this room at 10 o'clock. Those of you who are complete by 10, you come back here, and we're going to do an open pitch session. Those of you who are still looking for teammates, we're going to give you an extra, up, up to literally an hour and a half extra to form your team. So those of you who have not formed a team, you'll go down the hall from the third floor, you'll go to the other space, and we'll continue to work toward team formation until about 11.30 when we've got to exit the building. Okay? So that's anything that I've missed, guys? Yeah. They're gonna pitch, they're gonna pitch here, right? 
They're going to pitch here in Lobdell. So if you're if you're done team formation, come back here to Lobdell. We're going to have an open pitch session. If you're looking to build a team, you're down the hall, and we'll work with you until about 11:30 to get that done. Yeah. You thought you were done with us, but we have one incredibly important life and death thing that we need to say while I stall for time until the slide loads and speaks so slowly that I grab your attention. Fabulous. Okay. Ta-da.